given positive integers a1 to ak that are co-prime let gamma of a1 to ak represent the non-negative integers of the form sigma ai xi where the xi's are non-negative. Then it's well known that the complement of gamma is a finite set and therefore we can define the maximum element in the complement of gamma and call it the Frobenius number g, g of a1 to ak. It's well known and Sylvester proved this that g of a1 a2 is a1 a2 minus a1 minus a2. The reduction formula of Johnson helps us assume without loss of generality that in the three variable case the three variables a1 a2 and a3 are pairwise co-prime. The result of Brower and Shockley gives us means to find the exact formula for the Frobenius number in terms of MC. MC is the least representable element in the class C mod A1, which is in gamma. For our purposes in the three variable case ABC, then G of ABC is the maximum overall X of MBX minus A. To compute MBX, it is convenient to use the notation v of x, y is bx plus c, y and introduce the two variables k and l where k is the floor of c by b and l is c b inverse mod a. We observe that the coordinate x comma y and the coordinate x plus a minus l and y plus 1 denote the same integer mod a. Therefore, m of bx is the minimum overall t of the value at the coordinate x plus a minus l t mod a comma t over all t between 0 and a minus 1. It's easy to see that if l is less than or equal to k then c is in gamma of a b and g of a b c is equal to g of a b. In fact these three statements are equivalent. Therefore we only need to consider the case l greater than k. We introduce two further variables q and r. q is the quotient of a by a minus l and r is the remainder of a by a minus l. The cases that remain are further subdivided into br is less than cq which is fairly easy and leads to a convenient and easy formula and the case br is greater than cq which is much harder to prove. For more please visit the website and read my paper. Thank you.